You might remember that recently we got these propagators. They weren't a bad price. I got four for I think $4.99 or something like that. But quite a few people have mentioned that they also bought some. And the one flaw with them is that the seed trays don't have any holes in the bottom. But that's not a problem. What I'm going to do is just warm up a screwdriver just over at Gas Hob and then we'll just make all the zone holes. So still fixable. So that's what I'll do because we want to start and get some seed sewn. I'm just going to let that screwdriver warm up for a minute and while we're waiting I'll show you those planters that I've put outside and where I've put them. So that's where we're putting them in front of the van and you can see we've got loads of space and I've got my little table in between so I can do a bit of potting on and then we need to get these all stained varnished and then we'll fill them with compost and get some plants in but yeah I think it looks pretty cool up front of the van and even more so when we've planted it up I think this should be warm enough by now so we'll go through all of them in one go just make a nice sized hole in the bottom it's a good job people actually mentioned it because I might not have noticed but as you can see it's a pretty easy fix there we go all sorted and I need to set some of these up so we can get some more seeds aren't we So there we go, and each one of these propagators will hold 24 plants. So we can get around 100 plants going all at the same time. But before I do that, I'm going to sieve some compost and then decide what seeds I'm going to sow. So I've now sieved some compost. So what I'm going to do is start off some dwarf French beans. Might as well get a few growing and then we can decide where we're going to put them later on. But I'm thinking about buying one of those little square boxes with trellis on the back, so that might just work out right for us. I'll price them up, maybe I'll order a couple. So let's get these Elba dwarf French beans planted. We sold some of these French beans quite recently, and if you remember, they were also white. These are actually quite small. And if you look carefully at your bean seeds, you'll notice on one side there's a little line. It's quite hard to see on white ones, but I always plant them with that down because that's where your roots are going to come from. So I'm just going to push them in to fingernail depth, not too deep. And we'll get ourselves a tray of these, aren't we? Quick easy job on a Sunday afternoon. You don't have to plant them a particular way around by the way if you don't want to. The bean will turn in the compost to allow that plant to go up. So some of these I'm just putting in any old out. See if it makes any difference. But it's good to get back to seed sowing. These are the first things that we've sowed since we had to move. So at least now we're making a start. And that will do. And then I'm just going to cover them back over. As long as that bean's covered, it's fine. You don't have to plant them deep. If you plant them too deep, then they could rot before they germinate. Especially if you put them in nine centimeter pots to start them off, which some people do. So 
So that's all done. We'll give this tray a quick water and then we'll pop that propagator lid on that will retain moisture within and we've got us dwarf French beans on way. I'll just leave them on table because this window is usually sunny all day long. So as I said as first seed sowing since we moved home Elba dwarf French beans it's so warm in this caravan through day when it's sunny and it's also quite warm through night so the fact that they're in a propagator which is going to keep that moisture in and they're going to have sun on them all day I think them French beans are going to be up before we know it and thank you so much to his latest donators I'll list your name at the end of this video so a new beginning and plenty more things to do tomorrow we're going to have to definitely start potting on those peppers and I've got a couple of extra tomato plants as well something different they are tumbling toms, which we can do in baskets or containers, but these ones are yellow ones. So we can have a nice mix draping down that balcony, but that's a job for another day. If you want to see what else we're going to be doing through this coming week, please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell, and I'll see you next time. Take care.